The war in Ukraine, where the Russian incursion is intensifying as Moscow continues launching aerial assaults on Ukraine's capital city. And in Washington, U.S. officials are closely watching China and the possibility Beijing could supply Russia with a lethal military aid. ABC's Justin Finch reports. In eastern Ukraine, Russia's war raging on in the city of Bakhmut. New Russian state videos showing the destruction on the ground, where Russian troops claim to be advancing in street-to-street -street battles as Ukrainian forces fight to fend them off. In the capital city, Kyiv, Ukrainian officials report air defense systems shot down 11 of 14 Russian-launched Shahed drones. That attack coming days after the U.S. announced more than $2 billion in additional military aid for Ukraine. Weapons Kyiv will need to launch a spring counteroffensive. But President Biden telling ABC's David Muir the U.S. has no plans yet to supply the F-16 fighter jets Ukraine has requested. I don't think he needs F-16s. No. no, he doesn't need F-16s now. Thank you, the free world, for all what you do for us, Ukrainians. Vladimir Klitschko, Ukrainian heavyweight boxer and brother of Kyiv's mayor, showing off one of two Western Leopard 2 tanks delivered from Poland. Russia responding by shutting down its largest oil pipeline to Poland. And now the U.S. keeping a close eye on deepening ties between Beijing and Russia, warning China to not supply Russian forces with lethal aid. We know they haven't taken it off the table, and we are sending a clear message, as are our European allies, that this would be a real mistake because those weapons would be used to bombard cities and kill civilians, and China should want no part of that. And conversations between the U.S. and Russia continue. Russia's Foreign Intelligence Service reports CIA Director Bill Burns and Russia's top intel officer recently held a two-and-a-half-hour meeting. Justin Finch, ABC News, Washington.